Computer virus. Have you ever been down with the flu? Flu is caused by the influenza virus. A virus is an organism invisible to the naked eye that enters your body without your knowledge, multiplies thousands of times, breaks down your immune system and makes you sick. Like your body, a computer system can also be infected with a virus. Computer virus is a program that can attach itself to another program of files, makes its own copies and harms the performance of a computer system. Viruses are created with an intent of creating problems for the computer user. They are designed to run on the system without the user's knowledge or consent and cause chaos in the system by dropping the performance. Harm caused by computer virus A virus can cause many problems for a computer system. It can attach itself to the boot record of hard disk which has booting instructions. A virus makes thousands of copies of itself taking up lots of memory space and slowing down the system. It can attach itself to executable files affecting the function of the infected software. It can also attach itself to any email you are sending from your system and thus spread to other systems. However, a virus is not all-powerful. There are some things it cannot do. A virus doesn't infect hardware devices like monitor or keyboard. It doesn't infect write protected disks and flash drives. How do you get a computer virus? Viruses can enter the computer system without the user's knowledge. Some of the most common carriers of virus programs are Infected program Infected CDs, DVDs or pen drives Email attachments These are some of the methods in which a virus can infect your system. Your system is on a network on which a virus program is propagating. You have copied an infected file from secondary storage devices like CD or pen drive or you have opened an email that contains virus as attachment. History of Computer Virus Traditional computer viruses emerged in the 1980s. The first PC virus was a boot sector virus called Brain. It was created in 1986 by two brothers, Basit and A.F. Alvi. The brothers created the virus to prevent pirated copies of software they had written. In 1992, Rich Skrenta created a virus, Elk Cloner, that attached itself to the Apple DOS 3.3 operating system and got spread by floppy disk. Since the mid-1990s, macro viruses have become common. Most of them are written in the scripting language for Microsoft programs such as MS Word and MS Excel. These viruses spread by Excel spreadsheets and other Microsoft Office documents. Nowadays, one of the most common means of virus infection is through instant messaging or internet chat software. Emails are the biggest means to spread viruses worldwide. Malware stands for malicious software. Any program that enters your computer with the intent of harming is malware. Malware penetrates a system without the user's knowledge or permission and goes on to harm its software, steal sensitive data and monitor activities. Malware can affect networks as well, infecting all the systems that connect to them. Virus is a type of malware. However, there are many more varieties of malware like worm, spyware, trojan horse, etc. Worm Worm is a standalone program 
that replicates itself and spreads via computer networks. It does not need human activity like starting a program to function. It is self-sufficient to start functioning on a computer or network. Computer worms do not infect the files and software on the computer directly. They use high amount of memory and network bandwidth, slowing down the computer and making internet access extremely slow. Examples of worms include Stuxnet, Melissa and Code Red. Trojan Horse In computer terms, Trojan Horse or simply Trojan is a malware that looks legitimate and useful but is actually designed to harm your computer. They could be disguised as links that increase your curiosity, extra fields in a web form or interface of a program that you use. When computer users click on them, the Trojans install on their system. Examples of Trojans include Zeus, Backdoor, Exploit, and rootkit. Spyware. As the name suggests, spyware are programs designed to secretly gather information about the user from his computer and share it with those who created it. Spyware is installed without user's consent when he or she downloads a file from the internet or clicks on any link or pop-up window while browsing. Like Trojans, Spyware does not replicate itself but harms the computer by taking up lots of space on the hard disk, making the system very slow, stealing sensitive information from the system and monitoring a user's online behavior to pass on the data to advertisers and other interested parties. Examples of spyware are Cool Web Search, Movie Land, Zango and Zlob. Spam. Unsolicited and unwarranted mail is called spam. Most spam mails are carriers of viruses or trojans, so they are also classified as malware. You can easily prevent spam by sharing your email address only with known people, using spam filter provided by email service providers, and never opening the spam mails and deleting them immediately. Protecting your computer It is said that prevention is better than cure. Some ways in which you can prevent malware infections include Install an antivirus and anti-malware software and keep the software up to date. Schedule regular system scans Ensure all flash drives are free of virus before inserting into the port. Keep the most updated version of your operating system. Secure your network with passwords and firewall. Use the maximum level of privacy setting in your system. Don't click on any link or pop-up that shows up in your screen. Never use an open Wi-Fi because that makes you vulnerable to malware on that network. Always keep backups of your files. Allow only trusted people to use your system. Antivirus software Application software designed to detect and remove viruses and other malware on your system is called antivirus software. Antivirus software removes the traditional malware like viruses and trojans. To be able to detect and remove the latest types of viruses and malware like polymorphic virus, you should install anti-malware software. You can have both antivirus and anti-malware software installed on your system. They will not interfere with each other's functioning. Some of the most popular antivirus software are QuickHeal, Norton 360, Kaspersky Antivirus and McAfee Antivirus. Some of the most popular anti-malware software are Malwarebytes, Microsoft Forefront, Hitman Pro and MCSoft.